When you differentiate your teaching methods, you recognize the unique ways in which your students learn information. But what about the ways in which they respond to that learning? Some students who require differentiation might not test or quiz as well as their peers. Reading or writing delays can keep a student from showing what they know. So, traditional forms of assessment may not reflect a student's grasp of the content. But don't worry. As a teacher, you can draw on each student's strengths. In fact, I mean that quite literally. Research has shown that the majority of us are visual learners. Therefore, students who aren't caught up with their peers in verbal or textual skills can benefit from visual expression. Even students who thrive with traditional assessments will appreciate the opportunity to express themselves in new ways. So, here are three strategies you can draw upon in your classroom. Number one, illustrating a pivotal moment. Sketching a critical scene in a text allows students to elaborate on its main ideas. For example, if your students are reading James and the Giant Peach, you can prompt them to draw the moment when James first enters the peach. Instruct your students to label their illustrations, describing the main ideas or themes that most resonate with them. This student drew arrows to show the action of the scene and added notes about how this moment made them feel. As you review these assignments, take note of the details that students included, but also be aware of what was left out or misrepresented. Let that information guide you in asking clarifying questions or encourage students to dig deeper into the details. As it happens, digging into the details is exactly what our next strategy is all about. That brings us to number two, the thematic person. Imagine your students are researching Harriet Tubman. There is so much important information to explore. Creating a mental map can help students organize all of that detailed information. Have your students draw a character rendition representing Harriet Tubman. Near her mind, your students should write Harriet's main concerns and motivations. Near her hands, have them write what she carried, either literally or figuratively. And near her feet, describe where she had to travel. Suddenly, that wealth of detailed information is much easier to organize and digest. Now that your students' drawings are complete, you can help them use this assignment as scaffolding for an upcoming writing assignment or oral presentation. That way, students are still able to grow those skills, but you've minimized the pressure by breaking the process up step by step. Speaking of sequential events, that's the subject of our final strategy. Number three, the comic strip. Your students can demonstrate understanding of a sequence or process by drawing events in order within a comic strip. Students should include dialogue where necessary and caption each frame with a description of what is happening. Be sure to hold students accountable to high and specific standards on activities like these. Differentiated assignments are not an easy way out, but rather a different way of showing comprehension. Also, remind students they are not being graded for their art, but rather on their knowledge. As a teacher, you can see when a student has great ideas, but is struggling to find ways to share them. With careful planning, you can anticipate those moments and help your students avoid frustration. Using these strategies, you're sure to draw out each and every student's incredible potential.